expect to see done about it is with the, you know, it's spreading into other areas. Now is the chance to join forces for us Americans. We need to find those other people, such as alternative medicine advocates, who are facing the same kinds of conspiracy charges, lengthy sentences, unfair prosecutions, and the prohibition of products that are only doing people good. That's what's scary about it. And for you guys in the Netherlands, you should be very proud, by the way, when they enacted this conspiracy thing in that 1931 treaty, only the Netherlands made a reservation that said they would not criminalize it unless the act had commenced. That was your country. You should be very proud. And that's about it. Just spread the word. And if you ever come over to visit America, be real careful. Because it doesn't take a whole lot in that country to wind up in jail. And if there's a treaty talked about in your country, think about the kind of power it's going to be giving other governments. There's a lot of things, things we can do without the government's help. And we need to get out and do them. And I think I have a couple of questions here. You asked a question already. Is there anyone else with a question? Okay, you're, uh, oh, you, yes. Yes, uh, about conspiracy. <laughs> now, if I were to sit over here and mention something, that would be considered over there to be conspiracy. And the fact that over there, because of the things I said in my trial for religious belief, my sanity would be questioned. If I were sitting over here talking about the solution that could be considered conspiracy over there, and I was just sitting here talking to myself, Still no, conspiracy, you can say this anything you want by yourself. I mean, I can get up here and say, you know, if there's an illegal president uh, put in office on January 18th, uh, we all need to just, uh, just start shooting fence. I can say that. But if one of you all agrees to it, then we have a conspiracy. <laughs> Alone it's okay. It's when you make the, the, the criminal act is the agreement between two people. It's not what you say on your own. And that's how they got around with the free speech. It's not what you say, it's the mental agreement to do it. But like in the case that Mickey talked about, the young woman who gave the phone number, she acted in furtherance. Her agreement was implied by the fact that she made the phone call, so she was furthering the conspiracy. In the case of, of my clients, the Side Southern Lights case, the fact that they sold the product was furthering the conspiracy. And you know, this exact case had come up back during the ages of the bootleggers, and they won. That was found to be no interstate commerce. That's how tyrannical this country has become in the past 80 years. You, you've got to get up there and give them 19 other witches and then you'll go free. And eventually it took the people to realize there was no such thing as a witch before they stopped burning people at the stake. And then when you're threatened with being burned at the stake, you're going to make up six other people. And that it is absolutely mad. You know, another thing you Dutch folks can do is, I'd love to see you over there, but don't come. Don't give us your tourist dollars. But realize if you do come, you're living in a very dangerous country and you've got to be very careful what you do there.